What's going on guys, this is Morton Power here, welcome back to the channel, hopefully you guys are having a powerful day, and today what I got for you guys is another top 5 video, I actually haven't done one of these in a while, technically this is going to be a top 10 because we're going to be doing two different categories, but today we're going to be talking about the 5 things that Call of Duty World War 2 needs to have to succeed, and the, and the top 5 things that Call of Duty World War 2 should not have in this game. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to do the do's first. Um, and these things are basically the things that are driven by the community that I've been hearing and seeing on Twitter, YouTube videos, and things like that over the last uh, three to four years going all the way back to Call of Duty Ghosts. So here we go with the top five dudes. Coming in at number one is going to be uh, great looking base maps and DLC maps. Um, one thing that Ghost and Infinite Warfare and a little bit of Advanced Warfare had is a uh, uh, grade and dull looking maps and just maps that just didn't pop and were vibrant um, and that's something that World War 2 needs I know that the time period is not that uh, colorful and not that vibrant but it's gotta they gotta do things with the textures and the color variants and things like that to make it to where the maps pop and you actually want to sit there and look at the maps for uh, the duration of the game and then the long gaming sessions that you have so that uh, you're actually engaged and you don't lose interest because of how the maps look. Uh, number two is going to be gun balance. This is something that's been pretty big over the last few years, especially in Black Ops series where I noticed it is a uh, gun balance where there's not um, an overpowered set of overpowered weapons and a set of underpowered weapons. Um, and the example would be Black Ops 3's Vesper when the first. Uh, when the first build of the game came out, um, when it launched in November, the Vesper was found out to be quickly that it was really overpowered. All the COD pros were using it, uh, so all the regular players would decide to use it. And uh, it quickly got to Treyarch, and when they did their first batch of buffs and nerfs, the hammer was laid on the Vesper, and then it went from really, really good to crap, just like that. And uh, that's something that we that we need to fine tune during the beta because we have been confirmed to have a beta. Uh, that's something that we just they need to fine tune during the beta is the weapon balance, and making sure everything is on a level playing field right when the game is launched in November on November third. Coming in at number four or number three rather is going to be time period accuracy, and uh, it, this this happens whenever you do a game based on one specific time period. Um, and that is making sure that the locations, the dates, the times, everything are accurate to how it happened in history. Uh, the guns are accurate, the weapons, or not the weapons, the streaks and things like that that they add to the game are accurate to things that will happen in that, or happened in that time period. And there's a lot of really cool stuff that they can do with it, and uh, I'm really excited to see what they do, but... Uh, the one thing that I have is I'm a big World War II fan, um, and it's got to be accurate for me to actually enjoy the game um, and make sure that it actually lives through the whole year life cycle. And then coming in at number four is great score, great and balanced score streaks. Um, this is something that uh, we we've had score streaks or kill streaks or variations of those throughout the entire throughout the history of um, Call of Duty as of late uh, and they've become a big part of Call of Duty um, you had in modern the Modern Warfare series you had or the early Modern Warfare series you had kill streaks where you had three five and seven um, and things like that where you had um, you only had a base set of uh, score streak or kill streaks that you could select um, but what over the few over the years it's been it's been built upon and built upon and built upon and there's been score streaks that are like super overpowered like you have the the attack dogs from black ops 2 that were super overpowered and then you have a lightning strike from black ops 3 i know this is two different games that sucks or talking about the variations of the games black ops 2's lightning strike and hellstorms were were decent and you can, they're usable however black ops 3's were not um so that's something that just needs to be fine-tuned through the alpha and the beta like with the gun balance um, and make sure that they they all work properly and they're not over the top overpowered and things like that um, and then coming in at number five this goes without saying uh, we need boots on the ground this has already been confirmed I know there's been people saying that there could be time travel and things like that but I'll leave that for the adults 
uh, but we need boots on the ground. Um, I loved Black Ops 2. That's my favorite Call of Duty, all-time favorite Call of Duty. Um, I loved being able to, um, you know, just stay on the ground, be grounded. And I know Infinite Warfare brought in um, a tactical TDM, which was okay. I mean, not that great, but it was, it, it was them trying. It's the uh, thank you for trying uh, gesture from Infinity Ward. Uh, but boots on the ground has to be in World War II. There can't be any boots. Like it, like I said, going with the uh, the uh, time period accuracy, it's got to be, you know, there. It's got to be boots on the ground. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. But that's gonna wrap up the the top five do's. Let's go into the top five don'ts. And starting in at number one, wrap, uh, ties them with number five from the last one, and that is there can absolutely, under no circumstances, be advanced movement. I don't want to see somebody boost jumping three stories in a World War II map. That's not something that happened. I know there was uh, some some conspiracy theories of the Nazis, you know, trying to make make jetpacks around that time period, but there cannot be any jetpacks, any wall running, any sliding, anything like that. Uh, the only jumping I want to be able to do is regular jumping and then being pulled right back down to the ground by gravity. I don't want any thrusters or anything like that. Moving into number two, um, this is something that started in Advanced Warfare. Uh, they had gun customization, which I'll talk about in a minute, but uh, there cannot be character customization. It was okay in Black Ops 2, or Black Ops 3, I mean, you had, uh, it was like, it was just like cosmetic, like the shirts and things like that. It wasn't too over the top, it was fine, but Advanced Warfare kind of overdid it um, with the Gingerbread Man. I don't want to see no Gingerbread Man running around in World War II. I'm not shooting at a Gingerbread Man, I'm shooting at an enemy soldier. I want to see soldiers, I don't want to see... Um, scuba tanked uh, soldiers. I don't want to see the farthest you can go is a ghillie suit, and I don't even know if they'll do that. But I digress. Uh, let's move on um, to specialists. That's number three. We can't have any specialists, man. No special abilities for these soldiers. These guys didn't have them in the past. I think it would have been a lot. You know, that war wouldn't have been as relevant if they had active camo to where they can just go invisible run around and kill people. I think that would have been a little bit over the top for that time period. We cannot have it. Absolutely cannot have it in this game. Um, it's something that, uh, it's just, it, it's it's detrimental to the success of World War II if we have specialists. And there's something that's really, really big, and it's the big, biggest thing I have on this list is variants. Um, I didn't put supply drops on this list because it's face facts, guys. Supply drops are going to be in Call of Duty from here on out until they they stop making money off of it, um, plain and simple. Um, but one thing that we can uh, control is weapon variants. And what I mean is the stat changing variants. I don't care if they bring weapon kits in to make the weapons look a little bit unique and things like that. Just as long as they don't mess with their stats. Because me not being that great of a Call of Duty player, I don't want to have somebody that's a COD Pro with a gun that has a better damage, better accuracy, better range than me just running around with a base gun because I can't spend thousands and thousands of dollars to get these weapons. Uh, and then I just, it's not, you know, it's not good for the game to have uh, their players not on the same level. We need to have the weapons balanced and fine tuned, like I said in the dues. Let's just make it to where everybody starts out with the same weapons and they keep those weapons throughout the entire game. There's no building upon those having a, a rare variant of the AK-47 or things of that nature. And then the last thing, this, I mean, it's hit or miss with the Call of Duty community and that is uh, some of the perks being a little overpowered and just being annoying. Um, and I'm talking about two in specific. I'm talking about Juggernaut and Martyrdom. Uh, those perks need to be gone. Um, I don't want to kill somebody and then drop a frag grenade and kill me. That's, that's, that's not. It's That is a troll perk and it needs to be gone. And Juggernaut, if I shoot somebody with a sniper rifle from the ch upper chest and above, I want them dead. I don't want to get a hit marker 
Um, I'm not that great at sniping anyway, so if I get a one shot to the upper body, I want it to be a kill, and I don't want them having some perk or last stand where you shoot them and they don't die. They just sit there with a pistol and they can shoot you like they're downed in zombies. Leave that to zombies. Um, but that's just me. I didn't want to go too far because I figured I'd go on a rant. Um, I did a little, but I didn't want to. Um, that's going to do it for the video, though, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this list. Um, if you have any tweaks to the list, like things that you want to see and things you don't want to see, let me know in the comment section. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, guys. Uh, I'm really excited for Call of Duty this year. Um, I haven't been this hyped for Call of Duty in a long time. It's really sad that I actually have not been uh, playing the recent Call of Duty. Um, I actually haven't even been playing Modern Warfare Remastered. I've actually been back on Black Ops 3 the majority and then other games, but I'm really excited that Call of Duty is actually going to be making a triumphant return this year, and hopefully they don't crap the bed with this game, but if, like I said, that's going to do it for the video, and as always, guys, I will catch y'all on the next video.